we need to partition the numbers below. So first, we have 4,307,042. Now when we partition numbers, what we're doing is showing the value of each digit. So this 4 is in our millions place value, so represents 4 million. That's 4 with 6 zeros on the end, because we have 6 place values after our millions place value. Or, looking at our number, we have 6 digits after the 4, so we need to write 6 zeros after the 4 when we partition it. Now, we have a 3 in our hundred thousands, so that's 300,000. We have 5 digits after the 3, so when we partition the number, we need to write 5 zeros after the 3. Now, the next digit is a 0, and we don't partition zeros. That's because, whatever place value it's in, 0 always has the value of 0. So here, 0 is in our 10,000's place value, but 0 times 10,000 is still 0. So we don't need to partition 0, we can move on to the next digit. We have a 7 in our 1000's, so that's 7,000. We have 3 digits after the 7, so when we partition, we write three zeros after the seven. In our hundreds, again, we have a zero, so we don't need to partition that because the value of zero is always zero. But then our next digit is a four, and that's in our tens, so stands for 40, and then we have a two as our ones digit. Now when we partition numbers, what we can do is add up our partitioned numbers and when we do that, you'll notice that we get the number we started with, and that tells us that we've partitioned accurately and haven't made any mistakes. So now, let's try 6,193,413. The 6 is in our millions, so that's 6 million. 6 with 6 zeros on the end, because we have 6 digits after the 6. The 1 is in our hundred thousands, so that's 100,000. 1 followed by 5 zeros, because we have 5 digits, or 5 place values, after the 1 that's in our hundred thousands. We have 9 in our ten thousands, so that's 90,000. 3 in our thousands, so that's 3,000. 4 in our hundreds, so 400. 1 in our tens, so that's 10 and 3 in our 1s. And again, you can see that when we add up the number that we've partitioned, we get the number that we started with. So now we have 7,460,253. The 7 is in our millions, so that's 7 with 6 zeros on the end, because we have 6 digits after the 7. Then the 4 is in our hundred thousands, so that's 400,000. The 6 stands for 60,000 because it's in our 10,000's place value. Now we have a 0 in our thousands, but we don't need to write zeros when we partitioned because whatever place value it's in, the value of 0 is always just 0. We have zeros in numbers because they give other digits place values. So here we need this zero, so the six isn't in our thousand, but in our ten thousands, and the same for the four and the seven as well. Now we have two in our hundreds, so that's two hundred. This five stands for five tens, and then we have a three in our ones. And again, you can see that when we add up the partitioned numbers, we get the number that we started with. We can also show partitioned numbers using place value counters. So our first number was 4,307,042. This 4 is in our millions, so we can show 4 million place value counters. The 3 is in our hundred thousands, so we can show 300,000 place value counters. We have a zero in our ten thousands, so we don't show any ten thousand place value counters. We have a seven in our thousands, so that's seven thousand. A zero in our hundreds, so we don't show any hundred place value counters. 
This 4 stands for 4 tens and this 2 for 2 ones. Then we had 6,193,413. So we have 6 in our millions, 1 in our hundred thousands, 9 in our ten thousands, 3 in our thousands, 4 in our hundreds, 1 in our tens and 3 in our ones. Our last number was 7,460,253. So that's 7 in our millions, 4 in our hundred thousands, 6 in our ten thousands, 0 in our thousands, so we don't show any thousand place value counters. We have 2 in our hundreds, 5 in our tens, and 3 in our ones.